If you are a fan of anime, let me ask you a question. Being a fan of anime, if you saw other people targeting anime studios, targeting mangakas, animators, anyone involved with the production, and targeting fans of anime themselves with claims that they want them to suffer or to even D, I, and E, they want that on those people simply because there might be some disagreements on things. Uh, I don't think you'd want to see that, right? True fans of anime would not support such intolerance, especially directed at the people behind actually making and supporting anime. Now, I spoke out against such intolerance the other day, and what happened is I was witch-hunted for it. A tweet, and I'm going to show you all this in a moment. I'm going to show you pictures. I'm going to show you everything in a moment. My defense of the anime industry from intolerant people who wish suffering on those who support and create that work. My defense of that has caused me to be witch hunted by those intolerant people. Uh, One tweet uh, bashing me and insulting me had almost 10,000 likes. And even that person was inciting people to come to my channel and false flag my video to get it taken down. They lied about me. You could argue there's reputational damages there because of their lies. And they almost had damaged me monetarily as well by false flagging my video. Spoiler alert, my video never got taken down because it didn't actually break the terms of service. And the person who made these claims against me has since gone into hiding, uh, changing their handle and privating their account because they realized that they messed up most likely and they were getting backlash for it. That's the TLDR. Now let me show you exactly what happened. It all started with my friend Ghost tagging me on Twitter, asking me to make a video about a thread by this user HomestuckAVI. So I took a look at the thread by HomestuckAVI And something very interesting stuck out to me. The thread read, Hi Studio Bones, can you explain to me how our chest went from this to that? Said, Studio Bones, where do you live? I just want to talk. And before we continue with it, let me just show you why that rang a bell. Because about a year ago, there was this thread on Twitter that said, Okay, we got to have a talk here, Studio Bones. So again, kind of the same text almost. uh, Similar screenshots. And the same complaint, talking about Nejere Hado's chest size comparison from the manga to the anime. Now, a year ago, that happened, and a year later, it's pretty much the same argument. So that stuck out to me as odd. I basically thought that this person was more or less plagiarizing that previous tweet to get likes and attention on social media. And to their credit, it worked. They accumulated 1,700 retweets, 8,100 likes, compared to the original one, which only had 898 retweets and 3,200 likes, which is still a lot. But the copycat got even more than that. Now, I'm not going to say they actually plagiarized it, but you can see that it's possible. It's possible that they somewhat did. So they also wrote some buzzwords there. And before we continue any further, let me emphasize the point that after I called this out, people have come to my videos, my YouTube, my Twitter, leaving disgusting comments about me. They have been false flagging my content. They've been coming after me with literally a campaign of harassment. And what's ironic is that they claim that's what I did when I didn't. And I'll show you that right now. But before we get to that, Homestuck AVI wrote the P, it's a buzzword. Uh, It's also a very disgusting thing to be if you actually are. But, you know, it's a buzzword these days because people just throw labels like this out at anybody. It's the P word. There's a D in there, an O in there, an E in there somewhere. You know what it is. Says that, and dude bros have found me. This is why Boku no Hero Academia gets no rights. Bye. Says they don't even like uh, Studio Bones. Says, so dirty. I hate Studio Bones, basically. I'm paraphrasing this because I already covered this in a video. And for my subscribers, they've already seen me. So uh, they've already seen me cover this. So I'm trying to get through this pretty quick. So some of the other intolerant comments were like this one. This is from Tumblr. Shoto and Endeavor are slowly taking steps. This is a quote from the manga, I believe. And the user writes, Horikoshi, I say this from the deepest parts of my heart. And I had to take the word out, but it's a three-letter word. It starts with D, it ends with E, and there's an I in the middle. Wishes that on Horikoshi. So I called out the fact that these people were circulating a year-old argument for... Uh, some ridiculous reason, and that they're wishing these disgusting things to happen to Horikoshi, happen to Studio Bones, and they're calling people in the fandom these disgusting labels. I called all that nonsense out. And what did I get for it? I ended up on the receiving end of a massive harassment campaign, a witch hunt, from this user, female protagonist, at Ajis Fricker. Now, for the record, this person has since Uh, changed their Twitter handle and privated their account. The person who has this handle now is like a parody version. It's really funny. If you look up this Twitter handle now, you'll see the account is like a complete parody. It's wonderful. I advise you to do that after you watch this video if you want to laugh. But before this person went into hiding, uh, here's what they did that caused them to go into hiding. They made this tweet. 
about me. And it says, hey, if you're a grown blank, I had to take two words out here because they decided to insult me a lot right there. Uh, and it's not a good word on YouTube. It says, hey, if you're a grown blank adult with 65.3 YouTube subscriber, 65.3K, excuse me, YouTube subscribers, and your response to a random teenager on Twitter complaining about chest sizes in anime is to make a 16 minute video ranting about them without censoring their at, you are the actual worst. Now, there's so much I could say about this because there's lies here. So again, I'm going to show you the comments I've been getting and the ridiculous posts. Some people wishing that my, myself and my community are all put into like electric chairs, like just ridiculous things like that. I'll show you all that in a moment. But first, we need to cover these lies. So first of all, the hypocrisy, they complain about the at not being censored, but then they censor the at and they leave ghosts at in there. They don't censor ghosts at, they only censor their friends at. So clearly they don't really care about the at argument, right? And they don't even censor mine either. They crop it so that my username, Hero Hayes, there. Why? Because they also uh, want people to false flag my video. She, uh, this user writes, feel free to report the video for inciting harassment since the at wasn't censored and it's causing people to brigade her account. First of all, it's not harassment. I didn't tell anyone to do anything. I'm not responsible for their own decisions that they've made with their own free will. That's not my fault at all. And also, when I have taken ads out before, the people still find out about it, and then they just cry about it saying, oh, he also removed my ad so I wouldn't get credit. That's happened to me almost every single time. So I have a policy now. I'm going to leave the ad in there unless it's actually like a name. If it's a real name or something like that, I will remove it. If it's just a random username that you can change in seconds, uh, I'm not going to take the time because you'll just complain about it anyways. And that's perfectly fine with YouTube's TOS. So no, it's not what you claim it is. Now let's talk about the teenager thing. Says I was complaining about a teenager for 16 minutes. That's a complete lie. For the record, uh, the person who originally asked me to make the video, the person who made the tweet about Nejre Hado the second time, they didn't have an age in their profile. They had no age in their profile at all. Here's a picture of their profile. Uh, you can see it just says, I really love Terezi, Reed, Card, by F, Nightmind, Derisi, and there's no age. There's no age there. Uh, and again, there's no name. There's no picture of a person. All of this stuff is 100% anonymous. So absolutely uh, am I being lied about here. And my video was not 16 minutes about a single person either. It was about probably about like 50 different people. We covered multiple tweets, multiple topics. And the last like six minutes of the video is not even related to the first like 10 minutes. It's simply basically me just complaining about the industry and sharing some opinions on the industry and about business. So this is a complete misrepresentation of my video, of my work. They then call... Uh, all these people to false flag my video and look guys this is no joke 6300 likes and the one where they call for the witch hunt is 722 likes the impressions on these tweets i would assume i wouldn't be surprised man if it was like 50,000 impressions 50,000 people that saw these lies about me and that's why i say if, if i really wanted to i probably could push some reputational damages uh here we'll see Anyways, so I'm going to start showing you some of the ridiculous stuff that people have been leaving in my comment section on my videos now, on my Twitter. Uh, it's just insane, man. I'll show you that right now. Take a look. Let's start with this one. This is another thread on Twitter where someone basically took the same argu argument against me. Excuse me. And spoiler alert, this has like 700 likes almost. I'll show you when we scroll. So it says, imagine making a whole 16 minute video about a miner's tweet that hurts your... It's a, it's a buzzword that people were using for the Joker movie. It starts with I, ends with L. There's an N in there somewhere. Might rhyme with sell or something. I don't know. Writes, and not even censoring her at. Like, you are literally encouraging people to uh, harass someone. Y'all are getting the electric chair, you ugly slugs. So I'm sorry, everyone in the community. We're apparently all ugly slugs that are uh, deserving to be in the electric chair because of what I did. I'm so sorry, guys. I thought it would be a good thing to defend anime, defend Horikoshi, defend Studio Bones, defend My Hero Academia from intolerant people. But it turns out that I was in the wrong, and we almost pay the price now. I am so sorry. So let's take a look. They, uh, again, include my, my video, my face, my username, which actually, if you type that in Google, will pop up my channel and stuff. So it's a little different than just like a, a random username. You know what I mean? Like you could argue that that's a pen name that's somewhat identifiable in, in a way. You know what I mean? So this is actually inciting what they're complaining about. So ironic. Get 619 likes, 146 retweets. Let's take a look at some of the comments here. Perhaps they should have thought about what they have said before they spoke. All may have opinions, but that doesn't make them valid. You don't get to act like sharks going into a frenzy towards something a fan base loves and not expect a blowback. Consider, consider your actions next time. Well said. Well said. 
I agree with that one. This person, Mary. Oh, I know them. They've been coming after me for months as well, uh, insulting me for months and stuff like that. Says this YouTuber is pretty infamous in the Ruby fandom for grifting on the whole Vic situation. Yeah, you guys love that grifting thing. You're all focused on that. It's really weird. Take a look at some more of these. If you're letting what a random teenager said get to you like this, and you're not going to censor their handle, then you either have bigger problems or no problems. So this person clearly didn't watch the video because the video is not just about one person. It's about many different people and many different topics. This person says, WTF is this grown man doing? Attacking a minor over a tweet. Does he care about anime girls' chess that much? This person says, there's better things in the world to worry about. Continues to make a 16-minute video going after again they're bringing the age thing into this this is all they do man they have to bring that in despite the person not having an age in their profile because they don't actually have any merit to stand on they are witch hunting me they're actually doing something that is against the terms of service for multiple social social media platforms and as i said i might even have some uh, merit for a civil litigation on some of these people because of this but they're gonna go claim that i'm the one in the wrong here and again if you haven't seen my my original video watch it it was very respectful very respectful some more comments. My most recent tweets besides this one makes me feel even more strongly towards it now. SMH. This person literally just makes fun of my appearance, takes a screenshot of me, says, of course he looks like this. Where TF are his ears? He looks like a bad GTA 5 avatar. I mean, to me, that's a compliment, honestly. That's funny. Uh, I'm down to look like a GTA character. Uh, that's pretty funny, but okay. Um, so, you know, these people are wishing us to be in the electric chair. They're wishing us to be Minecrafted. And they're also making fun of my appearance and stuff like that. And they're also supporting false flagging. This is a great example of the intolerant people that are trying to take over anime here in the West. We can't let that happen, guys. We cannot let that happen. This person, Edwin, calls it out. Says, I love how everyone going against a video is either hoping the poster, me, gets Minecrafted or is hiding behind a keyboard and an anim anime avatar, LMAO. Exactly. I mean, listen... It, it, I know a lot of people use anime avatars. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm saying exactly because they're claiming that I have done this thing to some person who's completely anonymous. Meanwhile, I actually have my face on here and they are actually witch hunting me. So you can see the irony there. Some of these people are my friends though, like King Explosion. Uh, <laughs> I see you hit up that section of Foot Locker. It's like the clown shoes. So there you go. A few more posts. This one's pretty cute. Got this on my YouTube video, which, by the way, they not only false flagged, but massively downvoted it. You can see the other screenshot that's popping up right here. I will edit that in post-production. So, yeah, yeah, very nice people. But take a look at this. This this person, Ilya, says, Hope you're aware the person you're publicly bashing is a minor. No, I wasn't aware. They had no age in their profile. I don't know how you're aware either. It's kind of weird. And by not censoring her handle, you're encouraging your viewers to go after them. No, I'm not. That's not how that works, liar. You are disgusting. No, I'm not, liar. Let's see how you look, though. Electric chair for your bicycle seat looking ASS. So again, what's with these people wishing the electric chair, man? Weird. But hey, this one only wished it on me. So at least you guys are okay. You guys are good. Uh, I'll take one for the team on that one. Hopefully, I'll, I'll be like some Baki the Grappler stuff, like that red-haired dude. What was that guy's name again? Maybe some of you guys get that reference. Hey, he, uh, he made it out of that. This guy decided to leave like some spam comments and he also came into my live stream causing a, an issue in the live stream too. So he left a bunch of spam comments and then further escalated that live the other day. Here's some of his comments though. It's one person. Block out their at. You're an adult. They're not. Block out the at. You're literally adding fuel to the fire. Block out the effing at. Censor out their at. B-I-T-C-H. Yep. Very, uh, very cute. Very clever as you can see. Thank you for the wisdom. This guy Jabberwock says, uh, congrats, my friend. You, a grown man, have made a 16-minute video over a literal child being upset at how a single fictional character looks. Again, why do they keep bringing up the age thing? It wasn't in the bio. I don't even think that they can confirm that. I think they're just going with what the lying op said, which, again, they've deleted their stuff and gone into hiding, so good job just blindly believing stuff. Anyways, they write... Being upset at how a fictional character looks without censoring their username before broadcasting it to your audience of 65,000 plus and proceeded to act like your precious show is under. I had to remove all sort of stuff here. Bunch of buzzwords they threw. You might call her stupid or another buzzword or whatever, but you truly are a pathetic human being. Please kindly thoroughly reconsider your life up to the point of you reading this and then delete your account. Funny how you tell me to delete my account, but the person who started the witch hunt against me has deleted theirs or changed their handle and gone to hiding. I don't even know what they've done, but they clearly 
aren't uh, doing so well after they did such a it's just such a bad idea i don't even i'm out of words now man i'm out of words for these weirdos i really am <laughs> it's just they're so pathetic <laughs> This guy says, bro, if you're going to talk about people, censor their GD handle so they don't have to deal with degenerates going after them for a simple tweet. I mean, I haven't seen anyone go after them. They they changed their handle. They're already anonymous. And uh, here are your you're going to my place of uh, my channel going after me on top of all the other people I've already showcased and all the people I can't showcase because the original thread is gone now. I actually have an archive of it. We'll take a look at some of that stuff, actually. Uh, but I, I wish we could have the full thread because, man, there's so much stuff in there. But the person's gone into hiding. It's lost. But let's take a look at the archive. So here is the archive of the thread. Now, I forget if I said this in the beginning of the video or not, but this tag at Ajis Fricker or whatever, however you read it, uh, they don't own this tag anymore. They changed their tag to go into hiding and some very uh, funny person took that tag from them and has made it into a parody account. So I might be repeating myself here, but if I didn't say this already, definitely check that parody account out at the end of this video if you want some lols, because it's hilarious. So just keep that in mind. The person who owns the handle is not the same person anymore. Um, so there you go. Let's see some of the, the comments. This so one user says they're also live streaming about it. Yeah, you came after us with this ridiculous uh, campaign, this witch hunt against us. So we decided to talk about it live. Seems like that was a good idea because it upset you even more. And it was good content. The response from uh, the old uh, geese fricker. OMG, S censored buzzword. Puritan babies are so sensitive. It's just chess. Grow up. Although none of us said that. Uh, and then makes a 16-minute temper tantrum video. Again, uh, the video is about multiple topics. I'm very calm in that video. And live streams a brigade against a literal teenager. Never happened. You are the one who brigaded us when they criticized their waifu. So these people just make up any sort of lie and they just get likes because what what what's due diligence, right? Just go with it. This weirdo says, imagine going, this show is being attacked because a kid on Twitter was like, this is whack, LMAO. Like these people just mis misrepresent what happened because it's convenient to them and they don't have a real, uh, they don't have any real merit to stand on. Look at them. They're just repeating the same stuff. They then write literally one singular teen will be like, LOL, this is whack. Dude, you just said that grew three sizes and fans will throw a tantrum and scream no one's doing that except you look at your caps and stuff look at the witch hunt you created and why you went into hiding why you went into hiding okay it says bro move on <laughs> yeah you I, I bet you really want to move on now don't you but no we're going to showcase how disgusting you people are the other person writes same energy as those people who would make countless videos on a uh, feminist in 2016 because she said man spreading is bad what is what, what is that mansplaining i don't even know man these buzzwords i don't even know that's a real one uh talks about people raging for 16 minutes talks about the tweet being out of context uh all sort of nonsense people are really escalating this to another level uh he's now doing a live stream saying that he is the person who's being wronged i am um says wtf they really went that far basically i'm par paraphrasing some of the stuff it's just it's all the same stuff it's all the same stuff six minutes is flat out too much surprised that with his hero antics he has not been arrested don't know what that's about i think he's referring to my my uh my good my good work i do my charitable work where i go out and help homeless people why would i be arrested for that the pd likes it i've talked to the pd they have i've talked to the pd in the middle of doing it more than once and they were fine with it but you don't know anything because you don't really go out there and talk to the PD or help, you know, with charity and help homeless people and stuff properly. Uh, bra, bra, bra. Reported. F this pencil necked loser. Wow. So again, making fun of my appearance and false flagging my video. This person makes fun of the I stand with Vic hashtag for some reason. Uh, and this person is referring to me as pro Jared. So there you go. Also making fun of my appearance. Uh, you know, that's that's what these people do. There you go. Video is about 20 minutes long now, so we'll start wrapping it up. We could just keep looking at these comments almost endlessly because their brigade was that insane. Again, almost 10,000 likes on that original tweet uh, calling me out over lies and nonsense. And the witch hunt tweet, almost 1,000 likes on that one. So, yep, that was a thing. That was a thing. I'm getting uh, kind of tired of these people trying to instantly cancel things and lying to do such. And I'm working on a project... Uh, that I'll have more information coming out soon about. So just a little more vague, uh, vague hype building with that.
But right now, I want to give some shout outs to the people who promoted my last video on Twitter. Before I do, though, let me mention on that note, if you guys want to support the channel and continue to safeguard what we're doing here, consider becoming a sponsor on Patreon or getting some merch on Teespring. That certainly does help out. And sharing the video helps out as well. In this case, for the Grand Blue Fantasy video yesterday, shout out to the Lancaster Kid, DXDKJ, Ambipass Studio, Raven Wood, Mr. Anime 343, Coden X, Lots, uh, Laugh T ZBR, and Skella Kitty. Thank you all very much. That's it for this video. Hope this was a good little showcase of the bad side of the people trying to get into anime. And uh, what a shame it is. But it's good that people are pushing back against it. We'll defend what we appreciate, and we're not going to let them take over, at least not so easily. So I'm glad to be a part of that with all of you. Hope you're glad to be a part of it with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Activity.